What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be going over how to get SSR pendants in 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross, so let's get into the video. Alright, so yesterday I made a video on how to awaken your entire box to 6 star, and a few of you in the comments recommended I make a video on how to level 90 your box, but I don't think it's uh, generally like on how to level 90 your box, because that's not like a hard thing to do, it's more how to get the SSR pendants to do so. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the main places you can get SSR pendants and uh, where I actually like to acquire them myself. So first things first, let's hop into events. So events are going to be a way you can actually get SSR pendants. Um, depending on what like your event like you know offers, like there's one here and um, this event right here, this freaking uh, Grayon. There's probably some in the exchange shop I already exchanged for, yeah. So like there's obviously like uh, places you can get it just from like events and stuff, not including like your general um, gameplay. So yeah, more uh, evolution pendants there. Like if we go to final boss that's out right now, there's definitely some pendants in there if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, so I actually need to do this as well, um, but yeah, pendants in the events, the final boss shop, everything like that, always check that out every single day, make sure you've gotten the pendants for whatever the events are, um, that's going to be the first place you want to get them, the next place you want to get them is going to be in the Fort Solgris, so if you go to Fort Solgris and go to the special dungeon right here, the Saurus Spire is going to be the main location where you actually get SSR pendants, so if you are farming this stage, you are going to be getting SSR pendants, and you guys might be wondering, amazing, where do I get these event dungeon keys? So you're going to be able to get these by waiting either 8 hours, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 8 hours. Or you can get the Event Dungeon Key Bundles, which if you guys don't know, um, if you go to the coin shop, and you go to the Friendship Coin Shop, every single day if you get 2,000 of these Friendship Coins, you can get one Event uh, event Dungeon Key Bundle. Which basically, not guarantees you one SSR Pendant, but you're most likely to get in probably two of these, one SSR Pendant at the very least. Right, so what you want to do, go to your friends list. And send all. So once you have your like all your friends list like maxed, so you have 40, 44 to forty four. That's ideally uh, what you want. Um, you send all all um, out like that, and then you go over to the uh, friendship area right here, and you're gonna receive that. You're gonna collect all your friendship points. You're gonna go back to the uh, coin shop right here. Uh, let's go back to the coin shop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exchange for a um, event dungeon key bundle. So you can usually, like, I would go for usually the event dungeon key bundle um, in the Friendship Coin Shop if you really are down bad on SSR pendants. Um, but yeah, generally it's either the AP pots or the event dungeon key bundle. So I'm just going to get the event dungeon key bundle here. Let's get that and boom. So now that we've gotten that, we can actually go back over to Fort Solgris and the Star Aspire. And we can actually clear this uh, a little bit more than just like one time, right? Um, so as, as I said, um, every time it refreshes, so I'll just just to show you guys um i'll add uh the event dungeon key bundle i just got so it maxes out and then uh, what i'll show you guys is i'll skip ticket the five right here uh, let me make sure i have built on the team so i get the uh, extra bonus uh here we are so if i skip ticket five times right i'm just gonna show you guys what we get so boom we got lucky there we got an ssr pendant right there um but yeah you get them every time you fill the bar you get one ssr pendant so as you can see from about um, five of those, like, you know, um, event dungeon key bundles we were able to get, uh, about, like, two SSR pendants, like, one probably not including the, uh, the bar, right? So, it all depends on your luck, obviously, like, depending on how lucky you are, um, you can get more than, like, one. I've seen people get, like, three SSR pendants in one run, which is kind of crazy, but, um, yeah, that's basically how you do that. And as you can see, the timer is eight hours, uh, per recharge on this stamina. And you might think, like, it's a long time, but, like, if you do get event dungeon key bundles, it makes it a lot quicker. And what you can do as well, if you really are down bad on SSR pendants and you need to get them, like, like, like right now go to the silver coin shop and uh use your silver coins on event dungeon key bundles obviously if you're free to play you would want to use them on ap pots because that's just the one-to-one -one ratio you get like if i had 168 of these i got 168 ap pots that's like really good but um if you want to get your ssr pendants up then this is definitely the way to go because you can buy these instead of buying ssr pendants for like 10 gold coins or even one ssr coin i don't think is worth um personally but uh, yeah you can get it from there um and uh, yeah i think um there's probably let me see if there's other locations you can actually get ssr pendants now let me see here um i think that's like ma mainly the the one place you can go another place actually which i just thought about let's go to the tavern let's go to the nighthood shop another place is actually the nighthood shop so if you go to the nighthood shop here and we actually go to the exchange 
Oh, um, we can go to the knighthood shop. You can actually see that if we go to the level six, you're able to get SSR pendants three remaining. So you can always get three every single week. So make sure to clear this out and get your three. Um, that's a pretty good way to kind of get SSR pendants as well. And then, yeah, so that's the knighthood shop right there. The brawl shop, I think, also has uh, SSR pendants, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So if you do the brawl shop as well, there's also SSR pendants in there. So you get another three. So you get three from uh, the knighthood, three from the brawl shop. You get like... Uh, let me see. There's another place you can actually get it as well. The actual knighthood. Uh, let me check in. There's actually another one in the actual um, uh, knighthood boss here. Let me show you guys. So, yeah. So, knighthood boss actually just reset. This is kind of perfect. But um, if we look over here and see the rewards, you can actually... These are in individual rewards, by the way, depending on the points you score in guild boss. So, you're able to get one, two, three... About three SSR pendants from the actual like individual rewards from Guild Boss as well, and then once you actually complete Guild Boss, um, you're gonna get the uh, um, like every week you get like a bonus. So like if I was to go, let me see. I think if I go to the Nighthood, it'll just like give it to me. Let's see. Um, but every time it resets, you're also gonna get one SSR pendant if you scored in the top one percent, which right here, boom. So top one percent, we get the weekly Nighthood activity reward. You get one SSR pendant, and you get six hundred of the uh, um, Nighthood coins right there. But as you can see, the moment you get like top one percent in a guild, you get one SSR pendant. So I'm just gonna claim that. Boom, that's another SSR pendant for myself there. But um, yeah, I think that's like basically. It. Other than that, there's obviously things like the like the tower that you could do. Um, all, like any like event thing that comes around, there's always like places you can get SSR pendants, like you know tower. Um, final boss as I explained. Um, Hog Pass also gives it as well. I'm not too sure if it gives it on the free one though. Let me see if it gives uh like SSR pendants on the free one. Oh, it actually does. Okay, so it does give SSR pendants on the free one. So there is some chances through Hog Passes you can get SSR pendants as well. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then I think in the loyalty shop of the Hawk Pass as well, there is SSR pendants, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, there's not. Okay. So I guess they took it out. But there used to be, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys remember that. But um, yeah, that's basically that, man. I think those are like the main places you can get SSR pendants. Obviously, you know, if you can get some um, from your... I am not. I don't think you can get from dailies. Yeah, I don't think you can get from dailies. But um, yeah, it's generally just like your events, your... Um, Fort Solgris, which is going to be the main place you're going to get them, Fort Solgris. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, wait, uh, I think, um, I don't know if Reverse Stages gives. I don't think so, actually. I know, wait, I know um, Tower of Trials, like the one we got recently, does have, uh, depending on the stage, I think gives SSR Pendants. Let me see. Uh, not this one. Let me see this one. No. What about this one? Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Nah, okay, regular Tower of Trials is the main way you get it. Um, you also have events. You have your final boss, you have your main uh, your main ways in before Fort Solgris. Farm those out, guys, and you're going to be able to get a ton of SSR pendants. I highly advise, like, if you're doing um, this event right here, like the uh, sp uh, the Spire, you always want to, you know, uh, clear it out and make sure that it's on the, uh, on the reset so that it's uh, increasing. Um, so every 8 hours, you're going to get 1. Make sure it's at 0 out of 5 at all times so you're, you know, you're able to clear that out. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.